news, Palestinian Islamic scholar says martyrs received black-eyed virgins. Are you ready to be regaled with the tales of the Islamic afterlife for the Shahid? Yes. Okay. On March 17th, Dr. Nasser, Nasser al-Karam, a uh, Islamic scholar, delivered a fascinating sermon in Ramallah broadcast on Palestine TV. Dr. Al-Karam, who is head of the Sharia Court of Appeals in Nablus, explained that when a martyr sheds their first drop of blood, all their sins are forgiven and they are saved from the torments of the grave and the great horror of Judgment Day. Furthermore, martyrs are married to black-eyed virgins in paradise and they roam paradise as green birds nestled in the chandeliers hanging from Allah's throne. Allah personally inquires the martyrs to the martyrs about what they need or what they wish for, to which they reply with the request to return their souls back to their bodies so that they may die again for the sake of Allah. However, Allah decreed that they would never return to this world. So this was uh, a piece of a sermon that was came out and translated and i wanted to go through it because there's a lot to unpack here so you know this guy he starts his sermon and he's just going through the general rewards of dying for islam right like what do you get what do you get out of this right why should you do it okay so obviously first off most important first first drop of blood all your sins are forgiven and you don't have to go you know, serve your time because you know even even good Muslims who die they have to serve some time in hell, right? You you gotta you gotta serve some time and then you get to go to paradise if you do. But these guys they don't gotta do that. They don't have to serve any time in hell. Okay, Jahannam. They get to go straight to paradise. And when everyone is going through the excruciating, ultimately uh, traumatic experience of Judgment Day, they don't have to see any of that. Okay, so cool, awesome, great. Okay. Now, what surprisingly he talks, you know, okay, you know, oh, you're married to the virgins, da, da, da. You know, this is kind of, you, people have heard this before. That's not that interesting to me. You know, you, they get crowns of honor on their head, da, da, da. And what then threw me through a loop is he said this. He said this, quote, the souls of martyrs, and this is unique to them, are in the bodies of green birds. They roam in paradise, eat its fruits, drink from its rivers, and in the evening they nestle in the chandeliers hanging from above Allah's throne. Now, this is the first time I've ever heard this. Armin, have you ever heard that martyrs mm -hmm. become green birds in paradise? I was just about to ask, uh, where is this guy getting all this from? And that's like, unique is... to them? That's unique to them. No one else gets to be a green bird. Only the martyrs. Do martyrs <laughs> become uh, green birds in Islamic paradise? Um. And then I had questions because, you know, then he talks about, okay, they go to the rivers, they eat the fruits, you know, kind of the standard narrative of what paradise looks like that you know I'm, i've heard before that i'm used to right but then my question is do they stay a green bird because if they are married to virgins how do you um oh yeah apparently it's a thing how 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 do you you know what do you do with your wife are you still a green bird do you become a man and then back to a green bird when, when at what point do you get to spend time with the virgins versus when do you have to be in Allah's chandeliers i mean i have a, like i have a lot of questions and then, we have hadith we do about the green birds yeah apparently it's the what? thing um Wait, the messenger of this yeah you go you go People the souls of the martyrs alive in green birds of paradise. Ka Ibn Malik reported the Messenger of Allah 
said, Verily, the souls of martyrs are in green birds hanging from the fruits of paradise or the trees of paradise. And it's Sahih. What? What? Oh, yeah, you're right. It is Sahih. Sunnah al Urtrimidi. Okay. I did not know this. I learned something new. Okay. Hmm. But I still have questions. This doesn't answer my question about at what point do you become a bird? Do you stay a bird? Do you get to become a man to enjoy your wife? Wife? You mean the virgins? Yes. Those are not your wives. The they are? He said that you are married to black-eyed virgins. Oh, married. He used the He's, word married? Yes, okay. married. He said married to black-eyed virgins. Mm. I, I, I'm assuming you don't always say a bird. I don't think you could uh, fuck a virgin as a bird. I, I mean, I don't know. Can you? I mean, I've been Unless... trying to figure out the mechanics and it doesn't make sense <laughs> to me. <laughs> I mean, the, um, unless the black eyed virgins are birds themselves. Oh, you know what? <laughs> what if that's in the what's what if that's in the fine print that they don't tell you the fine print of yeah. janna is that the the yeah. virgin brides are actually birds so it's not They're as appealing birds. if you're gonna die for a, a, a bird bride <laughs> Susanna, you're you're saying that from a human perspective they would be mm. very sexy if you were a bird yourself you know what you might have a point yeah, if you were a green bird, then those birds would be sexy. They would be very sexy. Yeah. yeah there's yeah, there's so. one other <laughs> Jim <laughs> on Facebook is saying Polly want a virgin. God, this is peak comedy. I love it. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, God. That was perfect. Oh that was perfect. God. Oh, um, my God. Wait, but I want to I read one passage because when I was watching the clip of him giving this sermon, this, like, really struck me. So he goes, this is what happens with martyrs in the hereafter. Our Lord checks on them and inquires about their condition and whether they wish or need anything. He checks that everything is all right with the souls of the martyrs when they come to nestle in his chandeliers that are hanging from his throne. The martyrs say, oh Lord, with all this honor and well-being, we do not want anything more. But when Allah insists and asks them again about what they wish or need for, they say, O oh Lord, we ask that you return our souls to our body so that we return to the world and be killed for your sake again. But Allah decreed that they would never return to this world. And yeah. And I was just thinking about like how, I don't know, in, in the sermon, the video of the sermon, you know, it's showing the audience and there's a bunch of men and both most of the men are old and they like bored as hell. But in the audience, there are also all these young boys and i was just thinking about like what is really the teaching here it's so dangerous and toxic to be constantly reinforcing that like not only if if you're gonna believe in this system and this system involves such a level of like torture and agony after you die, even for the people that are good and try to follow the system, that this is the only way to avoid like torture and hellfire. And that when you finally achieve that and you get like this cheat code and you get to pass everything, that even then the greatest thing that you want to do is die for, for the sake of this all over again. Like that teaching is just so insidious to me. And who's the audience? Young boys in in Palestine? Yeah, the I audience is the... like, well, just a bunch of, I mean, obviously it's segregated, but it's just a bunch of like men and boys in Palestine in the audience. Yeah, so you can see why this is a useful teaching for them, right? Being in Palestine and all. 
Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, this is taking advantage of horny boys. That's what you're doing. You're basically turning a whole bunch of... I mean, think about actually believing in this and being at, at that age that really, 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 really needs to get laid. And you can't get... And you can't get... You can't get any... You can't get any girls, right? Especially in that environment, that very conservative environment. This is such a evil plan. This whole idea, right? It con- they make the environment so conservative, no access, no way to get laid, and tell people to give their lives for your specific cause, and you will have all the versions that you want, right? And You have no idea how horny young boys can get unless you've been one once, right? So this is like, you would, you would literally kill to be able to experience that in that, in that situation. It's like, I mean, have you met insoles? Like imagine a whole Mm -hmm. country of that, right? And then you tell them this. It's so abusive. It's so evil. It's so evil. And getting people like, he's not going to go die for any of this, right? Like, is he going to go get killed? No. He's not going to. He's going to die, you know, in his bed, probably, right? Calmly. He's going to have a. He's not going to get killed. He's going to get. He's going to send all these young boys chasing off black eyed virgins to die for his cause, taking advantage of their horniness. It's just so evil. It's all so evil. I don't know what to say. Yeah. So as funny as it is about the green birds and da da da, like it, yeah. the ultimate moral of that sermon like disturbed me so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as a former horny young boy, it's a very powerful control tactic. <laughs> <laughs> Asian American, you ain't lying. Yeah. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.